Hello everybody, welcome back, it's Jordan here. Today we're gonna to be building and taking a detailed look at the Vespa 125 from the 1960s. It's LEGO set 10298 with 1,106 pieces. We have the Vespa on the top of the box there, along with a one of one scale image of one of the tires. A front view of the Vespa on the side of the box here, and you can see that mine actually came with thumb tabs. On the back of the box, we get a nice angle of the Vespa, sort of from the back side. You can see some of the accessories that it comes with, some original images as well, and then there is a blueprint with the Vespa's dimensions in the top left corner there. I have mentioned this before, but one thing that you can do to preserve your box is just run a razor blade underneath those thumb tabs there. Sometimes it can be a bit sticky, but that's just the glue sort of holding the two flaps together. If you just run your razor blade underneath like that, you're actually going to preserve your box quite nicely there. Then you can just fold your flap out just like that there, and then release the glue there. And as you can see, it does a pretty good job of just preserving it nicely there. And here's all the pieces. And our box is as good as new here. Even if it were sealed by tape, I think it would be in the same condition as this. The set consists of six different building stages. We also got one additional bag here that has our rims and tires. You can see the sticker sheet right here and our instruction manual. Instruction manual, flipping it open on the front cover here. Look at that, it's facing toward us, I guess. And you've got some classic images. Sort of reminds me of the Fiat 500 instruction manual at first glance here. Classic images of the Vespa along with a timeline of the Vespa starting in 1946 and working its way up to 2021. Then you can, of course, meet the design team there. And then we have our building stages and what they create. So away we go with the build. Starting with bag number one, we start to create the frame of our Vespa. A lot of brick building here, your classic system building with lots of unique angles and shapes. Barely any Technic beyond, I mean, some pins and some axles and stuff like that. There's so many unique curves and stuff that come together. Pastel blue is the color that we're working with and that is classified by Lego. And uh, it's also classified as bright light blue from bricklink.com. So there is a difference in the color name. A rare color, you don't see it too often. We did see it in the Fiat 500, the second version of it, of course. But yeah, I really like working in this color. It looks vibrant. It sits well on the shelf and just looks fantastic in my opinion. Uh, you do get some custom wheels for this set. So what you saw there in that bag, there was actually custom wheels with the white wall. I thought those were really sharp. The build came together in such a beautiful way. Had a lot of fun building it and here we go. The Vespa 125 from the 1960s. Got the nice exclusive rim and wheel, I really like those. The white wall looks fantastic and the tread is pretty cool as well. You can see it's actually held up off the ground by the kickstand right there. It cannot stand on its own without that kickstand. The wheel on the front has a long Technic axle that connects to the handlebars on the top here. Really like all the molded pieces that were used to create the shape of the Vespa. There's lots of studs facing outward, which is pretty cool. You can see all of these studs would be facing outward. And we've got the space right there where you can put your feet. And that is made by some of those slide elements, the one by plates that are modified with the slide. And then we have our headlight on the handlebars there. And there is a sticker element just right there. So it's all stickers, but a pretty cool build there. And there's another sticker on the front there with the company that makes the Vespas, of course, their logo. There's a spare tire that comes with the Vespa. There's not actually a tire inside there, but it is a brick built circle build, which is pretty fun to build. Lots of snot bricks and some of those curved slopes and that dark blue color to create that unique circular shape, along with the Vespa sticker element on the uh, top of it. Our seat. Some basic brick building experiences, but ones that I really like. Lots of interesting angles came together here to create the Vespa. You can see there's some hinges right there to achieve that angle going toward the back there where we have our second seat. 
in between the two seats is a printed piece with the gas cap there. And then there's another sticker element right here just above the rear wheel. I believe this would be a storage area. I think the 1960s Vespa and even Vespas today uh, would have little storage areas back there. I do have a funny story about me on uh, a mini scooter at one time, but uh, I'm not going to share that with you today. It is pretty funny, but I've only driven one one time. Of course, we've got a back tire back here, and then there is a little exhaust right there as well. There's lots of interesting angles and everything that came together, and I'll show you that by removing this in one moment. In fact, on the other side, there's actually an engine which is concealed behind this covering here that sort of gives us the bulk of the back end of the Vespa. You can see there's an Italian license plate on the back here, Roma 230446, and then the uh, company that makes the Vespas, which of course is a iconic scooter from Italy. And uh, this is actually, or the set here actually represents the 75th anniversary of Vespa. We've got some accessories here. There is a crate on the back along with a flower bouquet. I don't know if I'd want to rip with that on the back. It might go flying off, but it is stuck inside the crate on a hinge. So it can be at that nice angle there. So lots of cool angles, even with the accessories. <laughs> and this one is uh, pretty neat as well. It's a little helmet. Got the goggles there. Pretty cool the way that came together with all of those curved pieces and some brackets in the interior. And then some of those large uh, quarter pieces on the top there to sort of give it its rounded shape. There is a little rack on the back of it there as well. You can see just above the tail light. And it's a really rugged build. Like you can pick it up, no problem, move it around. And on this side here, we actually have the engine and you can see it poking out of the bottom there. So there's some detail with some print pieces or with a single print piece, I should say. And then right here we have our kickstart. So this kickstart is able to hinge downward, of course. So you can get that kickstart sort of action. And then we have, I believe it would be our throttle there. And then of course our handlebars have our front and rear brakes. Let's pop this off and I'll show you the interesting angles and engine build underneath. Very easily just pops off. In fact, it's only held on by six studs. You can see all the large molded pieces that go into creating that. Also a couple of sticker elements and that's the same on either side. This one here covers the engine build. Got that printed element there. It's more of those circular pieces there. And this is actually clipped in spot right there to an upright clip piece. And then you can see all the interesting angles here with the shape of the body and the way it came together. Pretty neat, hey? Definitely a nice little build. And there's actually some more detail right here on the front wheel as well. I believe that represents suspension. Those sort of chrome one by one studs. And then there's another Vespa sticker element just right there. I'm not sure if it's just me, but I find once this is off, it's rather difficult to get it aligned with the six studs. Sort of got to move it around a bit, play with it to sort of get it back on. However, with that said, I don't plan on exposing the engine of it very often. Oh, there we go. It just had to be raised up a little bit there. So we can see when we put this kickstand down like that there, it doesn't stand on its own. And this is sort of, you know, it'll spin pretty much 360 to tell you the truth and it will roll of course back and forth and you can steer it using the handlebars but uh, this isn't uh, there's no resistance on the front steering and like I said earlier there's just one long Technic axle that goes from the bottom or the top of the wheel all the way to the steering so it's sort of flimsy in some spots but I will say that everyone's just going to display it just like that right I don't see any other reason to display it any other way. I don't really see a way of doing that. Uh, you can see the underside detail. So those are those modified one by plates with the slide elements there that give the foot grip. And then this is our uh, exhaust right there. Let's uh, compare it to something similar. 
uh, in the LIGO Creator Expert cars, which would be, or, or vehicles, I should say, which would be the uh, Harley Davidson Fat Boy. It's not a comparison by no means, but you can see that they are similar size. Harley Davidson has a lot more technical features inside involving the engine and some gear shifts, I believe. Uh, if I recall correctly, you can actually adjust the uh, speed of the wheel by putting more tension on the chain. Uh, so it's got a lot more technical components inside in that regard. But no discredit to the Vespa. I love its color, I love its shape, and I love all the angles that go into it. However, there's not really anything technical in comparison to the Harley Davidson, such as that actually working gear, which is pretty cool. But I do love the Vespa, and I love the accessories that it comes with, and it's definitely a great addition to the LEGO Creator Expert lineup. So everybody, there we have the Vespa 125. Pretty nifty little set. I mean, obviously it's not my favorite LEGO Creator Expert vehicle, but I think I have all the LEGO Creator Expert vehicles except for what we call the Stud Bug, which is the original Volkswagen Bug. Yeah, I like it. It's cute. I mean, I don't really know much about Vespas, but what I can tell you is the building techniques, the style, the color, uh, and the way it all came together. It's just, uh, was very pleasing and I really did enjoy the build. Everybody, thank you so much for popping on by. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned. Farewell.